All right, so I'm really trying to look into oxalate levels in different countries because, um, you know, my last video was looking at, or my second last video was looking at oxalate levels and breast cancer. Now, to be clear, I don't think that you, that oxalates are benign and that you can just eat as many as you want. I think, especially in certain individuals, um, potentially with lower calcium intakes, Consuming a lot of oxalates is definitely a bad thing, can lead to stone formation for sure. I'm just not totally convinced that oxalates are like the main driver behind breast cancer. So I'm trying to find studies that show com comparison between countries. And this is the best one I was able to find. Maybe if you find a better one, let me know. But it compared Brazil, England, Germany, India, two different India, Italy, United States, United States. And right here is the oxalate intake in milligrams per day. And the numbers are pretty, you know, Brazil, pretty low, actually. Germany, pretty low. Now, India, the rural common diet here only had 78 milligrams. But then the rural rainy season, that had over 2,000 milligrams. That's quite high. That's kind of the numbers you could potentially be getting in on a vegan diet. Urban upper income, 600. That's still fairly high, I would say. Um, and then these numbers, you know, they vary 116 to 309, 102 to 354 for the rest of India. Like I would say those are kind of common numbers. Italy, 355. And then, um, 18, I guess. And then, you know, the states kind of is around three, 300 plus or minus, etc. So it can be somewhat high in the states, but I don't see a huge difference. The biggest number here is India at 2000. Now, India is part of Asia, whether or not they contribute to the breast cancer numbers. Um, although they're rising, I think their rates are still lower. Just looking at this, um, comparison from the world cancer research um i mean india isn't even in the top 10 so i would say the u.s is still higher than india for breast cancer and yet the oxalate numbers don't seem to be the same potentially having a higher oxalate level in certain parts of india um and yet lower breast cancer rates and even if you look at it, like, let's ignore this 2000. They're not different. That's what I, I guess my point is, too. They're not that different. Like, if oxalate was a main factor, you know, you would think the countries with the lower levels would be better off, but they're all kind of the same. So, yeah, I don't think oxalate has as strong a relationship to breast cancer as, you know, other things like hormones or potentially like genetics and other things like that.